Hey, it's Keith. So on ambulances, uh, if you probably know or if you don't, uh, they all come with lights around. I think this one has 11 lights around it. And this is one of the lenses, the amber lens. But irrespective of the color, uh, inside the lamp is usually white. And the lamps that they used back in this era, they were um, uh, halogen lamps. And those halogen lamps drew 60 watts. So when you open the doors in the back here on the sides and on the other side, you'll see lights come on based on which door you open. And I realized that um, I didn't want to consume that much power, especially if you're going to go off grid and be boondocking. So what's the solution? So this company here, Welland, they made all these for most of the ambulances. And I called up the rep to figure out what it would cost. They said they're about $200 each. So I said, okay, maybe I'll just try something first to start. And this has been really successful. So what I'd done is I bought these little pins and I'll give you a link in the, below the video. And then what I bought were these uh, DC LEDs. Now this one was, I think, a three watt. And I also bought some five waters to play around with. So we're gonna go from 60 watts to three watts, which is a significant savings of energy. You can leave the doors open. Now the five watt is probably close to comparable to the 60, but I wanted some dim lights outside. If you wanna put some floodlights, you can do something different. But for the door opening and closing, I just needed something simple. So let me show you what I did. I essentially, I will, let me, Turn the camera and I'll show you, then I'll show you how they fit in the sockets. But you have two bayonets. I think this is like a G2. So I took these pins and I crimped them first with a crimping tool. And then I soldered them. I put these little rubber guys over it and I'll show you a little close up. Let me kind of show you the lamp and the socket and see how it works. So again, over here with these lamps, and as you can probably see, um, the two lights are on right now and they're pretty bright during the nighttime. Right down in the daytime, it's hard to tell. But you know, when you open and close the door, those two lights come on. And over here, if I zoom in really carefully, let's see if I can do that, you can see there's two holes in there. And again, that's a, um, I think it's a G2 pin. I think that's what those uh, Wellen uh, 60 watt halogens are. So again, what I did, here's a little close up. Let's see if you can zoom in here, you can see this. So this is a three watt LED. And you can see how I crimped on the ends where you can't see behind the little black key shrink. And then, uh, so I crimped them first and then I just soldered them and they work fantastic. And I don't have to worry about leaving the doors open and worrying about using a sec excess of energy. And again, these LEDs are DC. That's a really important consideration because the lights are DC. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful and I will put the information below the video. And you can go from, again, 60 watts to three watts or five watts. I think five, again, is probably the closest you'll get to a 60 watt halogen, but they work great and they're very durable. See you in the next video.